All right. Next, guys, I will show you how you can do spell swapping. For example, I'll log now and you see what I mean. Like, what we want to do now is when my warlock have a fell armor spell activated, like, he's gonna look like he's entering into the shadow form from the shadow place. Like, as you see at the moment, it's like normal, like you do the spell, nothing is changing. So, how you can do that? You can... First, we need to extract every spell. So, we can change it. For that, we need to open my Warcraft Studio. Like, as I said, every program that you need, it's gonna be in the link on the video description. So... Okay, first we are opening my Warcraft Studio, then we, we are opening all the archives that are in this folder, like your World of Warcraft folder, then data, then ENUS or GB or whatever language it is. So we should start opening until we find the files that we need. So it's not this one, let's open this one. Here, nothing as well, speech, nothing. So, we're gonna open local and then we'll find this. This is what we need because the spells, how they look, are in this folder. And okay, the shit crash, nothing to worry about it. So, we're gonna open again this. And as you see, this is the thing that we are looking for. It's called spell DBC. So first, what we need to do, we just extract the whole folder. For example, we're making a new folder here, like let's say it, uh, uh, fell armor to shadow form. Now. We are entering in this folder and then we just press random file, for example, C1, and then press save. After this folder is done, it's local, then we do the same thing with patch. We have the same file, right click on it, extract folder, then we go again here and just press C1. Okay, we did that as well, now we are moving to the next one. Next one is patch 2. Okay, we do the same shit. It's still loading, what is happening? Extract folder, yes, still loading. Then we press again C1, save. It saved the file, then we do the same thing with patch 3. Yeah, we have this sheet as again, so again, right click, extract folder, go to your folder, C1, save, and it's gonna save it. Let's see if we have more MPQ files, we have speech, but I don't think there is anything there. Yeah, okay. So, once we do that, it's time to freaking uh, change the spell, how it looks, how we gonna do that, like... We need another sp another program for that, so we can edit the file. Uh, the uh, program is called uh, my DBC editor, so I'm just gonna start two of them. And remember, every program you're starting started as uh, administrator, because it might not work if you don't start it as administrator. So now, once we get to this program open, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open the spell file. So let's go to Warcraft, then data, then ENUS, and then the folder that we made, fell armor to shadow form, and then DBS client. And now we are looking for spells like skills. We don't need skills, we need spells. Okay, now we are opening spells. Why we are opening two times? Because we want to have both at the same time open. Because on the one we're going to see what spell is the ID we're going to use. And the other one we will change it. So we're going to open again the same thing here. 
like uh, let's see where is it it spells okay on the left side we're gonna search for shadow form like we go edit then search then we type shadow form uh, it's not this we keep searching it's not this okay Yeah, this is all the space that required shadow form so okay there we go it here here is the shadow form like the only thing we need to look for is comb number 132 and this number because this number is the visual on the spell so now what we want to do is here we will find fell armor fell armor okay fell armor and you see the column here the number is different because the spell has different animation actually the fell armor spell don't have any animation at all so now we're looking for fell armor but we want fell armor rank uh, 4 because this one is rank 1 so we're gonna use rank 4 and we want to find fell armor rank 1 actually I put ID because uh, you know there is fell armor rank 2, 3 and 4 so the 4 fell armor rank is this ID 47893 so I'm just gonna look at this shit 47 478 okay so let's see where is it 47.3 let's go a bit down 47.5,6,7,8,8,9,3 so where is it okay so we see fell armor and let's see what rank is it it's rank 4 so this is the spell that we want we just go to the comb number 132 like this one and we just spell and we just type the number that we see here on shadow form because this is the visual like when we use fell armor it will make us like we are in shadow form so we just go here and type 3690 okay once we do that we want to save the file so we just press save now we want to open my Warcraft Studio again, so let's go open my Warcraft Studio as administrator as usual and now we want to create a pack, like how you are going to create a pack, just press pack here, create pack and then come here in your data main folder and just name it like this with for example A or a number, like it doesn't really matter I'm gonna name it like patch A so say now what we want to do is we want to import folder so we go to the place that we created we, that we extracted all the spells so we go here and then this folder DBS file client and then just click on achievement and press open now the files are ex are importing inside so here are all the files with the change that we made now we are almost done all we need to do is just save and close the archive now the archive is ready let's see if we manage to do that or we fail miserably so now I'm gonna log into my account uh, as you see okay see I'm in fucking shadow form as warlock if I remove fell armor it's normal if I use it it's gonna look like this like there is add-on that you can see the spells ID for example if, when I point fell armor you can see the spell ID 47893 and this is the spell that we change how it looks on the row 132 so you can basically change everything like even how the spells look for example if I want to change my Ren of Fire to look like wizard a dropping uh, blizzard or something you can do that as well like it's the same thing you just go and spell look at the spell then 
after you find the spell you want to change uh, look at the number on the visual side like on the row 32 and just press it and do the steps that I show you like it's easy as that and as I said you can basically change everything like spells uh, effects for example you can even do like when you have uh, some kind of weapon enchant for example berserker or whatever and you can make it like when it procs to looks like uh, when the shadow more procs and all kind of stuff like whatever you want to do you can do it from here it's really easy and it's uh, it's not taking time as you see like it's it's easy as fuck.